hours to spare, House Republicans and Democrats today struck a surprise deal to fund the government and avert a shutdown that would have inflicted economic pain on millions of American families. The House voted on an overwhelming bipartisan basis, 335 to 91, for a short-term funding bill known as a continuing resolution or CR. The bill will now head to the Senate where lawmakers there say they'll not object to a speedy vote. That vote's expected to take place sometime in the next few hours here after Senate Democrats meet. The bill would keep the government open for another 45 days if signed into law by the president, and it will buy more time for the House and Senate to finish fuller funding legislation. In the meantime, we've also been talking about another incident that people are talking about right now. I'm gonna pull up this tweet here from Politico reporter Olivia Beavers. It says, Representative Jamal Bowman was caught on camera pulling the cannon fire alarm ahead of this motion to adjourn vote as Dems tried to delay the continuing resolution vote. Multiple sources tell me. We've reached out to him for comment. We haven't viewed footage ourselves. We also have another tweet to show you here as well. This one saying Bowman spokesperson Emma Simon on him pulling the fire alarm. She says Congressman Bowman did not realize he would trigger a building alarm as he was rushing to make an urgent vote. The congressman regrets any confusion. So what we know right now about this particular incident is that Democratic Representative Jamal Bowman of New York acknowledged triggering a fire alarm today in one of the U.S. Capitol office buildings as lawmakers scrambled to pass a bill to fund the government before the midnight shutdown deadline tonight. The fire alarm sounded out around noon in the Cannon House office building and prompted a building-wide evacuation at a time when the House was in session and staffers were working in the building. The GOP-controlled House Administration Committee, which oversees issues pertaining to the Capitol complex, posted a picture of a person pulling the fire alarm who appeared to be Bowman. The committee posted the picture on X the website formerly known as Twitter, and said the incident was under investigation. A spokesperson for the New York lawmaker said in a statement to the Associated Press that the lawmaker did not intend to trigger a building-wide alarm as he was rushing to make it to the House floor, as we show you in this tweet here.